Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share with you a review video on my recent Chanel manicure purchase. If you have missed that video, I will leave a link in the comments and up on the corner of the screen for you to watch the unboxing of that. So I'll first talk about my updated review of these two manicure products after using them religiously regularly for almost three weeks now. Second part of the video will be the unboxing of manicure from products from Dior and first impression comparison between the two brands. I will first just remove the nail polish, the base Camellia nail polish, so I can do a reapplication properly. Okay, now all good to go. Now first, this Camellia hydrating and fortifying oil, as you can see, I am almost halfway through the tube only after three weeks. I put this on every night before bed. What I don't like about this is the tip applicator. It's not soft at all, it's actually hard plastic. Now another thing I don't like is that it is quite difficult to get the right amount of product onto the nail. It's hard to squeeze just the right amount. You end up having to use your fingers to spread it out and distribute it to other fingernails. So really, the applicator is a bit pointless in my opinion. Now, I still love the fragrance that it gives off as much as when I first used it. It really gives a luxurious feeling when I apply this. Sitting in bed before sleep, it becomes a very relaxing and luxurious ritual that I, I enjoy doing and that's why I religiously remember to put it on every single night. Now, in terms of efficacy, because I bought this to try to fix my dry cracking cuticles, look, it has actually improved my worst cuticle, but it hasn't prevented the skin around the cuticle cracking and splitting on other fingernails. Hence, I am on a quest to continue to find what else is available. I also use La Rocher-Posay Cicaplast Mains hand cream. I'll link it down below throughout the day whenever I remember after washing my hands, which helps with hands overall, but just hasn't done much to the cuticles. So that's why I decided to try, try the more luxurious uh, brands like Chanel to see whether it's uh, worth the money. Um, so yeah, I think in terms of the oil, it did help, but it's not perfect. So I'm still gonna, Continue to try other products until I find the, the best one possible. Now let's talk about the La Base Camellia Nail Polish. What I like about this is that it does give a slight subtle white colouring over the nails. And it does correct the yellow tinge to make it less noticeable. It also doesn't have the typical nail polish strong chemical solvent smell. Instead, it leaves a very pleasant and subtle scent. So I love these two points about it. Now, the con. It doesn't last very long. It lasts a few days only, but is not very noticeable when it chips. As it is such a subtle milky color, you just notice the lack of shine in areas that the po polish has come off. So only if you take a close look that you will actually notice that the polish has worn off. So yeah, loving this currently, whereas the cuticle oil is a bit of a so-so and I'm still on a hunt for a new version. Now to the second part of the unboxing video. So this is um, what I ordered from Dior. It's the first time I've ordered from them. This is the Mother's Day packaging special from Dior Online. Okay, in comparison to Chanel's Mother's Day packaging, Dior's packaging is not as colorful. The paper quality also feels not as substantial as Chanel's. It's thinner. Like Chanel, you get to choose a customized message to be printed on a card in an envelope. You also get this from Dior. I 
you also get samples, two samples with um, with each order, just like from when you order online from Chanel. The pouch again feels not as good quality as the Chanel's pouch. I've chosen a sample size perfume spray and a foundation sample. So yeah, I don't think I'll be using this pouch in my handbag. See how the texture of the Dior sample pouch feels rough and yeah maybe it's the color as well but the overall quality of the sample pouch is better in Chanel. Now just for comparison this is the echo packaging from the Chanel online order with a white pouch um, so this is not the, the pouch that is used for the samples but the actual order if you choose the eco packaging now you can tell the difference in texture you know from just on the screen the Chanel's one feels a lot softer um, and you can see how um, the cot the fabric uh, I think it is cotton but the, the fabric is more tightly knitted I know some of you are probably thinking who cares about these pouches they are freebies anyway but hey these are expensive items you order so yes I'm looking through everything with a fine tooth comb plus I'm a sucker for packaging so yes I do care about these things um, now I purchased a strengthening nail care cream apricot and a nail oil, uh, a nail glow uh, from uh, Dior yes I'm trying to do a direct comparison of the Dior versus Chanel nail care products here it comes in a white pl plastic jar in a cream texture It's got a subtle scent, but much, much um, less uh, of the perfume than Chanel one. Um, and so I guess the luxurious experience, I have to say from a scent perspective, um, it's not as luxurious feeling with, uh, with the Dior's product. But with less fragrance, does that mean that it would be better for my skin I'm I don't know so yeah easy to rub in and apply obviously I can't review the efficacy yet but look the plastic jar is quite cute um, and you know it doesn't have a applicator that doesn't really serve a good purpose so from that perspective look, I think maybe Dior um, is winning here in, in that regard but certainly I'm not getting that um, nice scent that I really do enjoy from Chanel but I guess you know from a skincare product perspective my skin does react sometimes to fragrance so whether having fragrance in a, uh, a skincare type of product or a nail care type of product um, whilst the experience is enjoyable uh, it may not be as good for my skin I don't know I'll have to do a follow-up video on that one now to the nail glow polish it does claim to help strengthen and color correct the nails it is almost a strawberry tr um, translucent color now I should have left one nail without the Chanel polish now I have to remove one again to do the direct comparison
Okay, here we go. I think we can at least compare the look of the Polish、um, application.、Um, we probably can't really compare whether it strengthens my nail with just one application.、Um, so the left side is Chanel, the right side will be Dior. Packaging pretty standard style. I have to say, the Chanel look more elegant and pretty on the table than Dior. Okay, first impression on opening the bottle. The smell is pretty strong. That chemical smell typical of nail polish. The Dior definitely have this smell. I definitely can't apply this when my son's around because he will just complain and start sneezing.、Uh, now, in terms of the level of shine, Dior's、uh, polish is shinier. It also look rosier in color, which I don't quite like in comparison to Chanel's color correction with a beige pink. I think the beige pink sort of that whitish, you know, veil is almost like a veil over my nail、um, color. I I I prefer that over the Dior's kind of, you know.、Uh, Reddish color, which you know, on my nail, it just makes it look more of a,、um, you know, dark red, which doesn't really complement my skin tone、uh, of my fingers.、Uh, whereas Chanel's sort of beigey,、um, pinky white color really,、um, you know, just makes. Just really matches the the color of my skin tone of my fingers much better. It makes just overall makes my nails look healthier.、Um, oh, I've just noticed the bottle bottom is also much prettier with Chanel's than Dior's. You can actually see、um, the bottom. There is the、um, you know the the spelling of Chanel around the the bottom、uh, of the bottle. Um, now the dry time is pretty similar between the two. Yeah, I think I prefer the Chanel one first impression、uh, compared to、um, the Dior. Now that's it from me today. I will follow up again after I finish using the Chanel nail products and at least half of you know the Dior's ones. Give a bit of a longer try before making up my mind about、um, who's the winner in my book,、um, or whether you know I am still unimpressed with either, and I'll need to go for to look for you know another brand next. If you like the video, please thumb it up and subscribe to my channel.、It、doesn't cost you anything, but helps me a lot. I will also be interested to know whether you have it, some good or bad nail care product experience for my hands that really need some good TLC. Um, if you do have、um, such recommendations or cautionary、uh, tales about certain products,、uh, please leave a comment down below. Until next time, take care. Bye.